Hey guys, it's Lindsay from The Hunger Diaries. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are making ramen carbonara. Hello again. Okay, so I just cooked our ramen noodles. I undercooked them. So the package instructions said to cook for five minutes, but I cooked for about two and a half because it's going to cook a little bit more in the pan once we're assembling the dish. I also added a little bit of olive oil to the noodles so that they don't stick in the meantime. So here we have a pan, I've got it on about medium. We've got our ingredients, bacon. We've got four eggs. I'm going to use three yolks and one whole egg. We have grated Parmesan. I highly recommend grating fresh. I think it just tastes way, way better. So I just grated this ahead of time. And then this is our thank you for coming bowl. So all the trash will go here. And we have some extra pasta water just in case we need a little bit more sauce in the party. Okay, let's get started. So good. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry. So another thing to mention, if you notice the bacon is cut into strips. That's called lardons. I like cutting them into strips like that because I, I like it a little bit chunkier. I don't want like bacon bits in my carbonara. So we are going to let this go ahead and crisp up. I like my bacon really crispy, but you can cook yours however you like. If you like it a little bit chewier, you can leave a little bit more fat on. Uh, just don't render the fat all the way off. Um, but I like to render my fat all the way out so I have nice crispy bacon. Um, so fun story, I wanted to make this recipe with udon noodles, which I went and bought at United Noodles in Minneapolis. Um, and they looked really small, I've actually never bought udon noodles before, I've never cooked with them. Um, but I've gotten them at restaurants and every single time I bought udon noodles at restaurants, they're like really big. Like they're like puffed up spaghetti, but they're always super chewy and I love them. I love udon noodles. Um, but these were like really skinny, almost like uh, really small linguine. Like they were flat and, and um, very narrow. Definitely not what I thought dry udon noodles would look like. Um, so I probably just bought the wrong ones. I was expecting them to like puff up and become this big beautiful pasta, um, but they didn't. And I undercooked them by quite a bit according to the package instructions, and they were still mushy. So I don't know. I'm, I'm like not having very much luck with Asian noodles right now. Okay, so this is looking pretty good. Um, most of the fat has been rendered out at this point. Um, because I wanted so much bacon in my carbonara, there is a lot of bacon fat in here, more than I think I need. So I'm just going to take some of it out and put it in the thank you for coming bowl. Thank you. 
If you have a tub of bacon fat in your fridge like I do, this is the perfect opportunity to add to it. Okay, that looks good. All right, so let's get a few of these things out of the way and we can move on to the next step. Okay, so the bacon is cooling down. It needs to cool down because we are going to be adding raw eggs to the sauce and that is what's going to make it super rich and creamy. There is no cream in carbonara. Do not listen to anyone who tells you that there is cream in carbonara. It is cheese, eggs, and bacon. It is basically breakfast pasta and it's delicious. You don't need to add cream or butter, just bacon fat. So, I have about a cup of Parmesan cheese. It's kind of a lot. We're gonna make extra cheesy carbonara, at least for the amount of noodles that we have. And to this, I'm going to add one whole egg and then three egg yolks. You can separate your eggs in a couple different ways. This is the way that I prefer, just cracking the shell, kind of gently opening it up, and then transferring the yolk back and forth, trying not to break the yolk in the process like I just did. The other way you could do, and I'm not going to do it right now because it's too messy, but you can crack the egg directly in your hand with your palm kind of open like this and just kind of shake your hand around and all the white will fall through your fingers and the yolk will stay intact. Okay, so now we just need to whisk this up carefully. It's like egg yolk cheese paste. Yum! Okay, now let's get our bacon back to the party and this just takes a couple more minutes to finish up. Okay, so the bacon's cooled and now I've just added it back on the heat. Uh, we wanna keep it on low. This is where we're gonna add the noodles and the eggs. We wanna keep the heat on low so we don't scramble the eggs because That'd be gross. Okay. So you just wanna make sure that you're coating all of the noodles in the bacon fat. Oh, the bacon is so crispy. I'm gonna eat you. It'd probably be good just like this, honestly. You can probably just put <laughs> bacon fat pasta. I'm sick. Sick, sick, sick. Okay, so this is gonna happen really fast. We are going, I'm gonna put the egg mixture just on the top of the noodles while I'm scooping it in, and then really kind of vigorously, we're going to stir the egg and cheese mixture into the pasta mixture. If it's too thick, we have our reserved pasta water, um, but that's just for emergencies. So let's do it.
Okay. Let's change the setup a little bit and get to the good part, the eating. <sighs> Guys, I'm so hungry <laughs> and I'm so excited. Carbonara is one of my favorite pastas. Any combination of pasta and cheese is like my favorite food. So macaroni and cheese, Alfredo, and carbonara. And people don't always think of carbonara as mac and cheese, but it totally is. Oh my God. All right, let's do this. It is so salty, like not overly salty, but salty in the best way. is one of those last meal on earth things. It's so good. It's so good. That fresh cheese makes a huge difference in my opinion. It's so nutty. It has more of a sharp flavor to it. Just like any spice that you'd buy. If you buy the spice whole or just fresh, it's always going to have more flavor than old spices or pre-ground spices. Same thing with the cheese. Come to me, bacon. Come to me. I really like the ramen with it, too. Ramen's got a great, like, crimpy texture. And since there's not a whole lot of texture in this dish other than the bacon, I think it really adds a lot to it. Excuse me.
bacon and parmesan have a saltiness that you just can't get from regular salt. Another thing I want to mention, how much of this do I have on my base though? Let's see if we can't fix that. Am I pretty again? Shout out to my awesome cat eating pizza in space cup. My friend Lindy got it for me for my birthday. Not this year, but last year. It's one of the best gifts ever. Anyways, what was I saying about bacon? I could talk about bacon forever. I like to use thick cut bacon. I get my bacon from Costco. I think it's a great deal. If you don't have Costco or don't have a Costco membership, I'd imagine Sam's Club probably has something similar. Just thick cut bacon. I don't get any like flavored bacon, just like regular. Um, if you like triple smoked, then by all means. Um, but you know, why mess with perfection, honestly? Um, another brand of bacon that I like is called Wright. It's W-R-I-G-H-T. I found it at Publix a lot when I was living in South Florida. I haven't looked for it here in Minneapolis, but I imagine they serve it nationwide. So yeah, right bacon, amazing. Costco bacon, also amazing. eating my hair casually. I'm not sure when I'm going to air this video, but you should know that it's 420 today. It won't be 420 when I air the video, but this is like my present to me for the celebration. Your happiness. Mm. Mm. All this bacon has accumulated in these last few bites. Mm. What a lovely present. <laughs> do you guys like my hair like this, by the way? I was actually going to do a hair tutorial before I did this, but I ran out of time. And honestly, I kind of run out of time anyways, because I was supposed to be at the gym, I think, like five minutes ago. I'll probably still show up and pretend to do something. <clears throat> but yeah, I had just blow dried my hair and I ended up not having time to do my like tutorial for how I curl my hair. So I just Britney Spears did it. It's Britney bitch. Except it's Lindsay. Way cooler. Mmm. All this bacon left. Mmm. Perfect amount of bacon. Perfect amount of cheese. Perfect amount of everything. Let's be honest. And also, I don't know if you noticed, I didn't add any salt or pepper. You can add pepper if you want. Pepper is delicious especially in this. But the bacon and the cheese are so salty. 
you do not need to add any more salt to the party. Though, I will say, and you saw, I added salt to the pasta water because you have to season your pasta. And not just with a little pinch of salt, you have to put like a palmful of salt in your pasta water in order for it to make any difference at all. It absolutely annoys the crap out of me when I see people with a huge pot of water and they like have one of those cranks, the salt cranks, and they're like, Ch -ch -ch. salted. I'm like, nay, not salted. You might as well not have done anything. That was freaking delicious. Oh my God. There is a reason that is one of my favorite dishes and why it would probably be on my top 10 list of things I would eat before I die. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching me cook and eat again. Uh, the recipe is below, the list of ingredients, how I did it, everything is below in case you don't want to be rewinding and fast forwarding through this video the whole time. Um, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I love all of you so much. I love doing this for you. And, you know, just hitting, hitting a button can help my business grow so much. Um, so yes, please subscribe, uh, like and comment if you want to just say hi, you have any questions about the recipe, about me, about my hair, about life, whatever, uh, comment below, like my video, and you know, stay tuned for next time. Not sure what it's going to be yet, but it's definitely going to be delicious, that's for sure. Alright guys, have a great day. Happy 420, even though it's not 420 anymore for you, but it is for me, and I'll see you next time.